Hey guys, it's Aislinn, and in today's video, we are going to be removing the rest of my color as well as dyeing my hair, and we're going to be using a new brand that I'm very excited to try. I've mentioned them before on my channel. We are going to be trying Splat Naturals. So the first thing we have to do is remove the old color that's left in my hair. So today I'm going to be using the baking soda method. I've done this so many times on my channel before. This works really, really well at getting out pink and orange. So that's what I'm doing today. To do the baking soda remover method, you're going to need some baking soda, some purple shampoo, some dish soap, some dandruff shampoo, and some 10 volume developer. How much you're gonna mix up depends on how thick and how long your hair is. So here is what my hair looks like. We have pink left over down to about here, and then my ends are just a very nice platinum blonde. If you use the baking soda method and you get it on your roots, it will lighten your regrowth. I don't want to lighten that today. So there are several things you can do to prevent this from lightening your natural hair. You can go in with some deep conditioner and just apply that to your roots all over and then go in with the baking soda method and try not to get it on your regrowth. That way, even if you do get a little bit on your regrowth, you have that conditioner barrier to block it from lightening your hair. So today what I'm gonna be doing is just applying the baking soda method right through here and I'm gonna make sure not to get any on my regrowth. Here's what my baking soda mixture looks like. In the back of my head, underneath, a lot of the pink is gone, so I'm going to focus this mixture mostly up here on the tops of my head. I normally like to part my hair into four sections. It just makes the process a little bit easier and more manageable, especially if this is your first time trying this on yourself. It makes it easier if you section your hair off beforehand. That way you can work section by section. Another tip is to put a mirror behind you and then have a mirror in front of you. That way you can see what's going on in the back of your head and it makes the process way, way easier if you have that mirror set up behind you. So I'm just gonna start up where my regrowth line is. Then just bring the mixture down and feather it in. I'm just gonna do a little voiceover to give you some tips and tricks when you're applying this mixture so that way hopefully it helps you when you're doing it on yourself. I start by taking down one section at a time and then applying the product in that section. It's much more manageable. And I also like to use the end of my brush to section each piece out. And as you can see, I'm applying the mixture to the top and bottom of each section. You want to make sure you're saturating it thoroughly because if you don't, then the hair is going to be patchy and there's going to be some leftover color. So make sure you're applying a lot of the mixture and make sure you're coating every piece of hair that has color on it. As I said previously, I do have some natural regrowth growing in, so you want to be careful when you're applying this not to get it on there because like I said, it will lift that. So if you have never done this before or it's your first time, I would definitely recommend putting conditioner on the parts that you don't want the mixture to get on. It just really helps create a barrier so even if you do accidentally get some on there, it's not going to lighten your regrowth. As you can see, I put a mirror behind me because that really helps me to see the back of my head. I can see what sections I'm taking and it makes the process way, way easier. If you are dyeing your hair for the first time, definitely get a mirror for in front and behind. It's going to make the process way easier for you and it's just gonna simplify everything if you can see the back of your head more in detail. Now that I have that applied on the areas I want to remove color from, I just put a shower cap on and then let it sit for around 20 to 30 minutes. I like to watch mine because this does work really fast. Sometimes I only leave it on 10 minutes, other times I'll leave it on 30 minutes. So it really depends on the color you're trying to remove and how stubborn it is. I will be back to show you guys what it looks like and to dye my hair. All right, I'm back. Here is how my hair looks after doing the baking soda method. I only left it on for literally 10 minutes. I put the shower cap on, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then I washed it out using purple shampoo to help counteract some of the yellow. So now my hair is this perfect white platinum shade. It is literally the perfect canvas for the colors we're doing today. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we are trying a new color line. It is Splat Naturals. I have mentioned them in a previous video. I got a PR kit from them and I was so, so excited to try out their dyes. Splat Naturals is vegan and cruelty free. It's made in Southern California and the formulation is totally different than the original Splat dye. So I'm just gonna tell you guys a 
little bit about this so that way you guys know the difference between this dye and their other dye because this one is formulated totally differently. So I just wanna to touch on a few things that make this formulation so different. So Splat Naturals is made from 95% natural plant-based ingredients, hence the name Splat Naturals. So this color is conditioning based. The formulation is really, really nice. It's thicker, it's very conditioning for your hair and it makes your hair feel really, really nice. I've used this on my friends before. It has so many ingredients in it that helps nourish and repair your hair while you're dyeing it, which is absolutely amazing. So the first ingredient is vitamin B5 and that helps restore shine to your hair. It also has quinoa extract, which helps the color last longer. And it has baobab seed extract, which helps strengthen and nourish the hair. Also, this color is paraben and sulfate free. It also contains no bleach and no ammonia. It also is fragrance free. So that's really good if you're allergic to fragrance or you just don't like it. It does have a little bit of a scent to it, but it's a natural scent from natural ingredients. So it's very light and airy. So right now they have seven shades. In the future, they are planning on releasing more shades. I went ahead and swatched all seven of the colors that they offer right now for you guys so you can see the difference between them and you can get a good look at what they are. So they have pink, purple, lavender, blue, teal, navy blue, and red. I've never used a hair dye that has these pouches like this and it is so creative and smart because normally I have like a bottle where you're like trying to get the rest of the color out. With these, you can literally squeeze out every last drop because you can fold the packet in and just squeeze everything out so you're not losing out on any product. Also, the packaging is 90% sustainable, which is amazing. So for today, we're going to be using four out of the seven shades. I really want to do like pastel, purple, blue, pink, teal, but I also want to add some prismatic pieces in there. So I think the two sections around my face, I'm going to do prismatic. So the shades I'm going to be using today are navy blue, teal, lavender, and pink. Since these shades are very pigmented, I'm going to start out with a conditioning base for all of them and then I'm gonna slowly add in the pigments to get to the desired level of color I want. Here are my four colors we're gonna be using today. Let's get the dyeing process started. So when you're sectioning your hair, it really helps to have a comb with a point on it or a foiling comb. It helps create clean partings. So I'm just parting off those two pieces that are going in front of my hair where I'm doing the prismatic technique. I'm bringing down one small slice at a time and then clipping back the rest out of my way. And I'm just applying the color one shade at a time. I'm starting with navy blue, then going to teal, then purple, then pink, and then I'm just repeating the pattern. And then on the next section I bring down, I start with the next color that's before that. So I started with teal on the next section I brought down, then I started with purple on the next section, and then pink on the next section. And I'm just repeating the pattern, and that's how you create the prismatic technique. And I'm just putting this in foils so that way I can fold it up and clip it out of my way. It makes it way easier when I'm going to do the rest of my hair. Once I have that clipped out of the way and done, I'm starting by sectioning at the bottom of my head and then I'm working my way up in sections. I just take my two fingers and put them at my temples and then run them and meet them in the back and that's how I like to section my hair. Starting at the bottom of your hair and working your way up makes things a lot easier, especially if you're not used to dyeing your hair or this is the first time doing it on your own. Starting at the bottom makes it so that way all the rest of the hair is clipped out of the way on top. You're keeping it clean and separated and you can focus on that bottom section. If you were to start at the top of your head, you would be putting dye on top and then you would have to try and pin that out of the way and it would be a lot harder to try and work from the top to the bottom versus working on the bottom, getting the dye on there. You can let it sit and just bring down the next section on top of that. And I'm just taking half inch to one inch sections throughout my hair and applying a new color on each section. I'm keeping in mind where I'm placing the colors and I'm looking at what I've previously done. I don't want too much blue in one area or too much purple in one area. So I try to stagger out the color and put purple next to blue or pink next to blue. So that way it's more even throughout the color. So I just want to dive in a little bit deeper on the differences between Splat Naturals and Splat's original formulation. I think it's really important for you guys to understand the difference between the two. So as I said before, Splat Naturals is a conditioning based, which is better for people who like to transition their hair color more often, you know, like me. You can also remove the color more easily when it's conditioning based, whereas Splat Originals is more pigmented and concentrated with less dilution. So that one is better for people that want long-lasting color. 
The thicker formulation of Splat Naturals makes it way easier to work with, whereas Splat Original is a thinner formulation and it can be messier if you're not used to dealing with the thinner formulation. Another thing that I love and that is so important to me is it's vegan and cruelty free and because it's 95% natural and the packaging is 90% sustainable, it's definitely a great option for people who prefer to shop organically and I think it's great that they want to create a product that's better for the environment. I wish more companies would keep that in mind when creating things. I'll go ahead and give you guys some more tips on applying color because I know so many of you guys appreciate that. So I like to start by applying the color near my root and mid shaft and then I like to use my fingers to really work in the product by my root area. I like being able to feel things with my hands so that way I know what's being covered and what's not and I can get a good feel for things. And once I have that area covered pretty well and I've worked it in, I go ahead and grab more dye and I apply it to my mid shaft to the ends of my hair. I would say the most important thing when working with conditioning based dye is to make sure you're really saturating the hair, make sure you're getting enough product on your brush and make sure you're really working it into the hair so that way everything is fully saturated. You don't want it to be patchy and you don't want to spend hours working on your hair creating something beautiful for there to be patches or to be inconsistent. So I always make sure to saturate really, really well. Really use your fingers to rub the color into the hair, that way you know you're going to cover everything and you're not going to have any spots that you've missed. One question I get asked all the time is how do you keep each section clean and how do you prevent other colors from getting on each section? Some people ask if I change gloves in between each color and what I do is I have a towel sitting on my lap so in between each new color I'm just wiping my hands off on the towel and getting them clean so that way I can grab the next section and apply the next new color. Here is a 360 of what my hair looks like with the color on. All right, I got everything applied. This color scheme is unbelievable. I am so obsessed with it. So it says to leave the dye on for 60 minutes. And if you have thicker hair, leave it on an extra 15 minutes, so 75 minutes. So I'm gonna let this sit for an hour, rinse it in cold water. Rinsing it in cold water will help prevent the colors from bleeding and it's gonna make your color last a lot longer. So I'm gonna rinse it in cold water and I'll be back to show you the finished product. It's gonna look so, so good. I cannot wait. These like pieces up front, oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with this color already. I'll see you guys once I get this rinsed out. Okay guys, I'm back. Here is how my hair turned out. It looks incredible. This is my favorite non-rainbow hair that I have ever done. I think it's because I never do these shades on myself, so like seeing them on me for the first time, I really, really, really like the way that this turned out. It's just like galaxy, mermaid, beautifulness. I am obsessed with it. This is gonna look so cute in like a half up or space buns. So let me turn around and show you guys the back. You can find these shades at splathaircolor.com in case you're interested in trying any of the colors. The color is super easy to work with, super moisturizing. My hair feels so soft and it is really, really shiny. When I was rinsing my hair with cold water, there was absolutely no bleeding and the water that was running off of my hair was clear. When you're doing multiple colors and you go to rinse it out, it's so, so easy for them to transfer on each other. So with a conditioning-based formula, it really, really helps prevent the color from transferring when you're washing it out. So if you're interested in trying any of these shades, I will leave a link to their website down in the description down below. It's just splathaircolor.com. I'm so, so, so in love with this hair color. I hope Hope you guys like it as much as I do. That is all for today's video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys, stay weird. Goodbye.